Hey, I'm Eli Juicy Jones. Today we're looking at the B2K RSA from BB Vapes. Check it out. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. It's a great little deal. B2K RDA review on VPM. Yeah. Hey, sorry about that. Third time's the charm, right? Today we're looking at this really cool little RDA from BB Vapes. It's called the B2K. It's really cool. I want to thank everybody in the audience for being so patient with my multiple starts this morning. If you don't watch live, you won't know that we started multiple times this morning, uh, just because that's how sometimes it is. But now all the audio's up, everything's going, everything is great. I want to thank everybody in the audience, Haley's Crazy Daddy, Stars and Clouds Creative, Dave Vapes, Cliff, Dude Mang, everybody, you guys are the best and I appreciate it. Wouldn't have a show without you and you're the, you're the greatest. So check it out. The B2K RSA is this really groovy little, um, little uh, RDA from a Canadian company called BB Vapes. And it's this little tiny thing and you get so much killer value out of this thing, it's ridiculous. Let me just pop down to the desk here and I can show you just a little bit about what is going on here. Let me just get my preview up. Yeah. So this is a single coil RDA from the guys at BB Vapes. And this is the Caviar Edition. This thing comes in multiple editions and they're basically different combinations of different kinds of lid and cap color combinations. The basic RDA is a postless single coil RDA that's really cool. Just pop this over. And you'll notice the box is like nothing really to brag about, but once you get in there, look at this crazy kit of stuff that you get with this thing. You get a fantastic array of different stuff. All those caps and lids. This is the actual RDA right here. And the foam pad that it comes with is a little bit weird, but it's fine. It comes with some replacement O-rings, one of each, a squonk pin, which I actually have in right now, and I'll show you how to change that, and a few O-rings, and a couple of extra grub screws. And there's also some clever things. There's more grub screws on here. But look at this fantastic, amazing kit. The one I got comes with four tops, and I'll explain what these accessories are in a second. In every material, you can, you can mix and match these. Every single one of these comes with a 510, a beauty tray at the bottom, and an 810 adapter. So there's the 810, 510 adapter, that's an 810 opening, and this is a little 510. And every one of them comes with that kit, and a few of them come with an extra just 810, which is an 810 drip tip. So inside there is the black, which is amazing. These are wet because they came out of my ultrasonic. Don't forget that if you find your items wet, that you must return it because it should not be wet. This is the stainless steel, which I'm gonna to try to grab the focus out of. So amazing, I absolutely love this. Yeah. I'll measure this for you in just one second after I get this popped off of here. It's a 24 or a 25 millimeter atomizer, I believe. And I have a full written review. Click on the link in the bio to go to juicyjoneshq.com and that'll get published right after the video today when we're finished. Uh, stainless steel and black. And this is the Ultim cap, which is the one that I have stuck on there first. Um, let's take the calipers and measure this. I was, I was wrong, it's 24.13 with the beauty ring. So it's a 24 millimeter atomizer, not a 25 like I thought. And um, as you can see, like I said, this is only wet because I just took it out of the ultrasonic. I've, I've had like 10 different builds in this thing in the last week. It has a little O-ring in the bottom to give you a little bit of leak protection when you're, scro when you're screwed into your squonk. This is my Squonk, my H Cigar VT 
inbox. Okay. And it looks absolutely fantastic on here. It's so beautiful. This is just the, of course, this is just the stainless, the Ultim version, the stainless steel version looks even better on here. And you can mix and match these. We'll do a bunch of color combos of these here in just one second. Let me move the focus back down a little bit so we can down. The actual atomizer, and I'm gonna take this coil out of here and we're gonna build a new one. The actual atomizer has a really cool deck that is a single coil deck. And you'll see that it's right, there's these two holes in the bottom, they're flat holes, and so the screws, the grubs, press directly against the actual posts in there, and it's really cool. I'm gonna grab my Allen key. The Allen key size you want here is one and a quarter millimeters, and number one, 1.25 millimeters. And these pop straight out. And you can see that there's two little indentations in there, kind of shallow trapezoids to hold juice out of the squonk as it comes up. The squonk comes straight up, the juice comes straight up out of here into these guys. These are your post holes, which there's a small potential for a little tiny bit of juice going through there, but no, there's not because, nah, never mind. Science says no, it's fine. But look at the airflow on this. The airflow is chamfered so that you'll notice it goes downward. It goes in the side here and then comes out at the bottom. So what we're really talking about here is air coming in the side and going under then up in the coil. So that's really cool. You can see that there's some cutouts here for you to lay tools on when you're building, which you may or may not use. Um, but it's nice because it gives you a place to wick. You don't have to have two parts. The deck, um, it's got tall airflow sidewalls here instead of a big ring around the whole thing. And look at this little trick. These are actually extra grub screws for the side right here in the deck. How incredibly cool is that? That you have extra grubs because you don't always carry your, your little baggie in with you. So if one of them breaks, you've always got two grub screws right in there. Then if you use them, you can replace them. I'm so bummed I got number 340, Brady got number, thir number 39, which is really cool. But these are great. This is super cool. This is the coil that I stuck in there. The way postless decks works is all you do is cut the posts to the same length all the time and then stick them in there. It's one reason I absolutely adore postless decks. I don't know about you guys out there in internet land. This is a triple core alien that I've eh, used about one day. We may as well stick it in there. There's nothing to this. All it is is stuck straight down in there. You can see one of my ends is fraying a little bit, so, but that's on the contact side. All I've done is take a coil, any coil, and you pre-cut it to about 10 millimeters on this end, maybe a little tiny bit more. No, let me see what I've got. The height of this one is Yeah, about 10 millimeters, this is nine and a half. So about 10 millimeters high is the size you want and you just cram it down in there. Easy as pie. Let's put this on the vape nut stand. Vape nut stand is 1.2 pounds of steel. Not going anywhere. And then we're gonna try every color combo on this thing because it's totally cool. Who doesn't like color combos of things? Ding, vape nut stand. So, like I said, you've got your coil in here. I just press with my finger. When you're doing single coil builds, and I kept my single coil build so I could show you guys. This is the most recent one. It's a 14 single wrap. When you're putting in single coils on this thing, I'm telling you, it can be a real bear to get the single lead trapped in there. So what you have to do is you put in one at a time Put in one at a time, get one done, screw it in, and then go around and set the other side. And that is the trick to single coils on this thing, I think. Um, single coil builds are absolutely, ridiculously, fantastically good on this RDA. They're just, this RDA is a flavor beast. You don't want to put big 80 watt builds on this or 90 watt builds. You want to keep it to, you know, 25, 30, maybe 70 watts. I didn't go over 65 watts. 
Um, this build right here is going to be a restricted air build. It's a triple core alien. The triple core helps it heat up a little faster. And uh, we're going to throw some cotton wicks, some Texas Tough quick wicks, juicy wicks in here. Love this stuff. Dude, Wayne Brozovich says he's in a freezer at work. By the way, I hope you guys have a cup of coffee. I'm Juicy Jones. This is Orbital Vaping Headquarters. And today we're building, reviewing the B2K RSA from BB Vapes. I'm just enjoying a nice, delicious cup of coffee. And I'm going to zoom you down further onto the thing while we wick it. I'll show you guys wicking. It's super easy. You cannot screw this thing up. We're going to talk about this thing at length as well here in just a few minutes. These things are just about 60 bucks. The things I like about it are that, or the things that attracted me to it are that it's postless and it has a cool little airflow thing and it has this myriad of different top cap color post combinations. And I just clicked the order button and uh, it was great. It's got white stainless steel, Ultim. I mean, when I saw that Ultim, I flipped out. This is Texas Tough, Quick Wicks, Juicy Wicks. I'm taking about 40% of that. And one of the things about this deck is that you want to build so that you can't really screw up the, the cotton too much, but you want to make sure that you build so that there's enough wick in there that you don't have to have a big spit back problem because that can be a problem, I tell you. This is a wet and dense vape down inside there. My fingernails don't quite get that. <laughs> I never have to use my <laughs> tweezers here, but I'm going to this time. Very easy. I'm just pulling that through so that I can see if it lumps up on the sides. It looks pretty good. We're gonna give that a snip. Right there in the money maker. And I want to get a build in here pretty quick so that we can get our vape on. So you see I've cut this thing. They're a little bit long, uh, which is okay. Remember that with this one, the, the wick is really just a sponge that's going to keep some of the wetness out. This one does have uh, a characteristic where you are revaping old liquid with this one because you are vaping. Um, the cotton serves just to keep the thing tidy inside. If you could do this with no cotton, it would probably be best. Now you'll notice that I'm smashing these things down in under these walls and I'm not super ultra concerned about which way they're oriented, although it matters. I'm gonna to switch tools so that I'm using my little 1.7 millimeter Allen key instead. I'm gonna fold that into the side and then just press on the side up against this wall again. Look what I'm trying to do. All I'm trying to do is make sure that the coils are high. You notice how you can just see the coil over the top of the wall? Uh, that's good. You can see the coil over the top of the wall. You have a little bit of space in this deck that's gonna give you enough space for that. And you're gonna be glad that you did because the higher the coil, the better the air is gonna go underneath it. Don't go super high, but don't be afraid to put a, a long lead in there. And I've just laid in the cotton on the flat parts. Really what this is gonna to serve to do, like I said, is just soak up some of that e-liquid. Easy peasy, it's not bad. I'm just being anal, this is not a big deal. It's tough to really screw up the wicking in this thing unless you just put way too little or way too much. And if you put way too much, you're probably okay unless you're restricting your air. Let's look at the air a little bit more close up. You notice like what I said, that the air is going in on the top side here and it's going down chamfered diagonally towards the bottom of the coil. And that is pretty cool. Now is the time to start looking at the lids. I'm gonna show you the stainless steel one first because it's easier to see the contours, but every one of the lids is exactly the same. It has the same kind of contours and stuff on the inside. Um, and it's clever. I need to show you this clever, clever, clever thing. Do you guys see that little notch on the inside top of the lid? They're symmetrical, C-shaped notches on the top of the lid. What that does is it makes the top stop. It makes it actually stop here on the atomizer. It's so badass. Not many do this. A lot of atomizers like this don't do it, but those little guides actually make it the airflow stop. Here, look, I'll put the Ultim one on and you can tell a lot easier. Slide. Oops, <laughs> slide, slide. So that is so ultra cool. All of them do that. They all have the same shape, it's cool. 
Um, they have a really nifty science fiction looking top cap that has a heat spreader on it. That's a heat spreader. I've had no issues with heat on this. The Ultima isn't even really that necessary on this. All of these have good heat dissipation out of the little science fiction spreader. These are 810 size. 810 drip tips fit beautifully in this everywhere. 510 drip tips too, using the adapters. I don't really love their adapters and I don't really love their drip tips. Here's an example of one of the adapters and drip tips. The, the adapter, 810 to 510 is pretty good. It's fine. It's very low profile. I really like that. But just remember that this thing can really hold on to a friction fit drip tip and you can't really put O-ring drip tips in it. So my favorite drip tips are my P3.mod drip tips, which are right here. For example, and this drip tip, if I put it in here, man, that is tight and it is hard to get. I put it in backwards. It is hard to get out. Um, I'm going to put it in the clear one for now. And you'll see, like I said, we're going to mix and match. But man, these are hard to get out once you get them in there. So I'm going to do this, but I may regret it. Mm, boy, that's tough. Um, here. And there, look, you have a beautiful Petri uh, my favorite my favorite drip tip is the dot mod friction fit 510 that's the greatest drip tip of all time um this is a beautiful look absolutely this thing looks good almost no matter what you do you can mix and match so many different styles and shapes we haven't put any e-liquid on it but i'm waiting that's why because i've got the squonk pin in there i'm gonna squonk this to show you and then we're going to take the 510 pin out and unsquonk and put on the rda or just put it onto an atomizer i just wanted to show you both i'm going to pull this out and i'll show you that the squonking action on this thing works beautifully you see there it goes the one thing to watch out for is over squonking so it's really this is a real mild one it's going to take a few squonks to get the e-liquid up in there the first time here and of course i could just simply drip it I wanted to, but I'm just trying to show you what's going on. Um, there we go. And in fact, I will do that. But so after the first time, I'm vaping on on a Moore. No, I'm sorry, Apple Fritter by Van Gogh, by the way. In case you guys are curious from the new bakery line, they reformulated all these. The Juicy Wicks Quick Wicks will take up the action relatively quickly. You see how there's a slight puddle in there. Ooh, that smells apple-y. There we go. And now that's just working up through the cotton as we speak. So it will take a slight amount of time for that to finish. In the meantime, I'm gonna set the top on here and vape this. And we're gonna go up top and just talk for one second. Hey, good morning. And I want to remind you also that those notches that let you turn the airflow on this thing open also let you take it off the mod, super easy. This is something that Brady just reminded me of live, which is totally great. Um, I absolutely love this thing. This is so great. The flavor is absolutely fantastic. I can't wait to show you more. I'm just, in just one second, we're gonna go back to the desk and we're gonna rearrange this. Right now I'm squonking on it. It works beautifully. It's not a magical squonker. It doesn't magically have no mess or do anything that other squonkers don't do. It's like a squonker. You have to manage the mess. It isn't messier than other ones. Remember my dictate, don't put too much cotton in, but don't put not enough either. If you don't put enough in, then you're gonna have mess with your squonking. It's real easy for it to go through that center pin. But flavor is fantastic on this with almost every configuration. My favorite is small coils and um, you can also put up to, you just don't vape over about 80 watts. It gets too spitty. And honestly, there's other RDAs and RTAs that are better than this um, at really low wattages. Like if you're really vaping at really, really low wattages, there's at like, you know, 8 to 20 watts. There's a lot of good choices in there, especially from Svo Metro and some other places. So this has a little niche in the middle that's absolutely untapped almost, especially the squonking. Let's put the RDA pin back on this. And look at some more looks. I mean, the kit that you get with this is absolutely insane. I'm gonna put it all together on the cam or on the desk and look at the focus. 
So it's all the way down there. Absolutely love it. So this is the white with a 510 and 810 adapter. I have one more thing to show you, by the way, an airflow restriction ring. This is the Ultim, which is a special heat resistant plastic. As you guys know, we talk about that a lot. We love science here. This is the stainless steel beauty ring. And let me just show you, you take, to use these beauty rings or change a color. You simply put these on the bottom. You'll notice that my squonker is a little bit dirty itself. So for squonking, I don't use the beauty rings because um, it is slightly easier not to. Uh, that's the stainless steel and you just put that back on there. Uh, this is black, which is so murdered out. It looks absolutely fantastic. And I think that's maybe what we'll do next because it's so beautiful. By the way, don't forget to click like and subscribe. We're live every Wednesday and Saturday morning. Uh, this, let me show you two things I haven't shown you yet. This is a uh, spit back protection. I guess 810 drip tip. I hate these, they're flavor killer. So um, I used it once, I'll never use it again. Don't use these. Um, it does reduce spit back. So if you're vaping with too high a coil, you can use this and it will kill flavor and let you vape at higher coils. But it won't help your, it won't help your vapor production either because it's providing a nice barrier. All that does is, is um, screen out a little e-liquid. I hate these things. Um, I'd say don't even include this, just teach people to build better. That's my suggestion. Uh, and this killer ring right here, look at this cool ring. This is an airflow control ring. So my, one of my favorite things to put this on is the Capo 100 from iJoy. If you guys don't have a Capo 100 from iJoy, I say run, don't walk and get one. But let's say you wanna to switch to black. All we do is pop the black beauty ring on, screw it down, take the top off and put the new top on. Done deal. Then we decide what kind of O-ring or what kind of drip tip we want. And you can pick any drip tip of any kind. That looks absolutely fantastic, all murdered out. You can use their little black one that comes with it, which I don't really like these 810 drip tips. I believe that they're just a little too spitbacky, a little too much. Um, you can put in your incredible looking, I have a black one of these too, I just don't know where the hell it is right now. And of course the flavor on this is amazing. So, I mean, this thing is so versatile and so crazy good. I am just so stoked. So they're about 60 bucks. They're at Hayestown Vapes. They have, um, oh, I didn't show you the airflow, the air uh, ring. I'm so sorry. I totally have one more thing to show you. This is an airflow restrictor ring. If you set this thing down a little bit on here, That actually forces the airflow to be about 50%. So this actually lets you dial in even lower amounts of air on this thing, which is really cool. That is really cool. Right now that was at 100 watts, so that was way too much. It didn't go dry, but I'm going back to 50, 65. Yeah, let's go to 55. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. Good. This is good. The little side airflow that forces the air under the coil, if you keep the cotton out of the way, if you build right, vape at lower wattages, shut down the air, great flavor, incredible versatility, just so versatile. I just took a couple of vapes out of this. Let's check out the, check out what it looks like. Looks totally fine. I've got a little straggler on there, don't I? Just a little sloppy spot. But it is vaping absolutely fantastic. That's just all over my camera lens now. I've got the airflow on 50% straight up. Let's see what that's like. Extra screws, incredible kit, super style. I mean, this thing is one of the craziest best values in vaping there ever was. It's about 60 bucks. These things are sold out constantly. And um, I'm considering selling these on JuicyJonesHQ.com because I think I might be able to keep some in the in the country and get them to people. So let me know in the comments. Tell me what you think. Do you like these things? Have you seen them? What do you think about single coils? What do you think about dual coils? Should I carry these? Um, am I missing anything? It's got um, squonking, flavor, 
I used a whole bunch of different builds in this. I put very, very large builds in it all the way down to little mouth to lung builds. And, and uh, I did a parallel 26. I did a just a 24 and a really small or really big 26 all the way up to some framed, staggered, stapled, framed aliens that I had and a bunch of coils from Spaniel 97876. So to me, the sweet spot for this is, like I said, 30 to 70 watts and the flavor is great. Go for the 510. If you want an 810, get a slightly taller one, it's my opinion. Otherwise, I just think it's a nine. I get this thing a nine. It's such a good value. It's so stylish. It's so versatile. I mean, who doesn't want a white stormtrooper atomizer? You know, who doesn't want to go murder out? You can, one problem is that you have to keep track of a lot of little finicky parts. So I have a little, I got a little box for this thing and keep all the stuff in the box because you will lose it and make sure you keep it clean. Uh, I'm Eli Juicy Jones. This is Orwell Vaping Headquarters. This has been a review of the B2K RDA by BB Vapes. Thank you so much. We're going to stick around just for a few minutes in chat. Be sure to like and subscribe. We have videos every Wednesday and Saturday, plus more often. End of the year's coming up. I'm going to do a roundup and a best of, and we'll do a, we'll do a New Year's discussion, all of us together. I've got guests coming in January, Ebby Vapes from England, who is terrific, and my friend Rob, who I met at the West Coast Vape Expo last week, Subom Sapper, he'll be here pretty soon. Uh, you guys tell me what you think about that. Let's check chat. I wonder what happens if I turn the music on again. You guys interested? Let's do an experiment. Can you guys tell me when the music is too loud? Or if, when or if it's too loud? That would be cool. I love all you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's 6.36. We did pretty good. I'll probably cut off part of the intro. Most likely. I'll have to do a whole bunch of editing, won't I? My soundbar goes to sleep. So annoying. Oh. All right. It's too loud, huh? How about that? Too quiet? I'm trying to figure out if I can play music at a reasonable volume. And so you can help me with the broadcast by just doing checks. Okay, I'm not sure about the delay, but I'm gonna leave it right there, stars and clouds. Do you mean at this level right here? It needs to be loud enough to be heard, but not be annoying. And for me not to be interrupting him all the time. Because I have a subscription to music, I can legally use, I'm a licensed and allowed to use this music. It's from Epidemic Sound. And, and the volume coming out to you is different than the volume coming to me, too. Too loud. Okay, too loud. Okay, I turned it down five decibels. I turned it down five big ones. You guys tell me what's up. Hey, Luther Gaming, it's great to see you, buddy. I did a review of the B2K RSA RDA from BB Vapes. Great, we're gonna be here another 10 minutes or so. Okay, that's good. So I know that about about 26.6 decibels, but that sounds pretty cool. And what I'll do is I'll play a couple of songs. Like there's that one, and I have this one. This one's my favorite one. I love this chill stuff. Okay, let's go white. So all you do is take the beauty, take the thing off. I'm gonna put the beauty ring on. We're going white. Take that little sucker on there. So yesterday was vaping with Michael B's birthday, you guys. I hope you guys wished him a happy birthday on Facebook and everywhere else. White, 510 adapter. So good. Here's the clear 510 adapter that's absolutely stuck. Look, that is fantastic. How freaking cool does that look? 
Yeah, Luther wants me to try it on the Captain. Absolutely. What color do you want, Luther? I've got the iJoy SRDA on there right now. The Great RDA. Actually, great. Flavor is fantastic. Here it is on the Captain. It's tiny. The little thing. I'll give you a full view. We're not doing 100 watts. Do 100 watts. None of that now. None of that now. Oh yeah, it looks really super good. It looks great in black too. Looks good in Ultim. Let's see, so that's the captain in white. It also looks absolutely amazing in black on my Oceanus, which is absolutely amazing. Totally great. Let's take the black beauty ring. And remember, I'm on half air right now. Even at full air, it's half because there's a beauty ring that slides down the bottom that stops the cap. This whole thing is so clever. It's amazing. Love it. And look at that look. That is absolutely fantastic. All murdered out on the Oceanus. Needs a battery. Super, super good. I love it. What was I vaping on? Mm. Cinnamon Toast Crunch? It's not. It's Apple Fritter. So that's totally murdered out in black. Brady says Black Spy. That's right. Brady's, I'm Black Spy. He's White Spy. He has the same setup in white. The white, Oce the white Oceanus. White. And his is set up in white, so it looks absolutely beautiful. There it is with a red top. Look how freaking great that looks. Dude, man, that's a good question. The, I'll tell you the flaws with the Oceanus. The Oceanus is killer, I love it. There's no temperature control on the Oceanus. Um, the Oceanus door is a little bit loose. Like you see, my magnet right there has come off and I need to super glue it back in. So the magnets come off the door. Um, that's just a given, it's gonna happen. And um, what else? Uh, the button paint comes off. So if you buy one of these, is you're guaranteed that your button paint will come off and that eventually one of your magnets will come off. But I love this thing. The only reason I don't carry it more is that the door comes off kind of easy. But the truth is, you know, if you're holding it or whatever, it's not, it doesn't matter. Um, the door wouldn't come off that easy if I had the, the, the magnet super glued in and I don't. So I love this thing. The Aegis is probably good. It's a slightly larger device. And I imagine it's very good if you have 26650s or if you want to use 21700s, which is the reason I want the Aegis. Jeremy Fuchs, what's going to be on your doorstep when you get home? He's asking us. Stars and Clouds Creative, you can click uh, to see the full review later on on the website with a full on description of it. But the flavor in this thing is excellent. It's fantastic. You have to stick within the wattage ranges I told you though. Do not, do not expect to put really high wattage stuff in here and it'd be good. It's not. It's too low and wet for that. Oh, Jeremy ordered a Drip Tech. DS, that is fantastic. That is awesome. My God, I'm so jealous. That's killer. We were talking about that in Discord. Join us on Discord if you don't already. The link is down in the description. This has great flavor. This is fun. You can put almost anything in here. And as long as you put the coil higher to let the air go under and you don't over wick it and you don't under wick it, it's great. I like taller 810s on this. The shorter ones aren't as good to me because it's too wet. It's a very, very wet vape in here. Um, Stars and Clouds Creative, if you're going to mix e-liquids and use this as like a tester or something, the thing to do is put in wire builds, put in single wire builds or low wattage. Well, you're probably already used to that. I think this is probably a good contender, actually. I still think that the Cleto 120 is probably the best thing to taste e-liquid in because it has the most nuance of the flavors. And what I mean by that is that it vaporizes the e-liquid 
in a kind of way that makes um that fully vaporizes it that makes part of it go in your nose up here part of here part of here and the top of your mouth the middle and the end in your throat like you can taste all those different flavors with the cleto and all rdas are very wet sometimes and some of them do a little bit better aerating the vape and this one is a wet vape so it's very good um but like i said use single wire builds once you put a single wire build in the in this b2k oh my god it will blow you the hell away really it will blow you away it's great or it blew me away what am i saying i have no idea it's all subjective it might not blow you away i was definitely stoked about it I want to show you guys the Wismec. The Wismec door, thank you to Vaping Michael B for sending this by the way, but the Wismec door is so jank. Look at this, I can, it just comes open. Watch, I'll just use it here. Look, there it is, it's open. I did not touch the button. So you close it, and eventually I just touch it, and it opens. Every time, every time, every time. This thing will not stay shut anymore, and I dropped it about seven times. So I'm getting the Genie from Subohm Sapper, thank you for donating that to the channel. And we're gonna compare these two. I'm gonna drop it about seven times and we're gonna see which door works better at the end. Stars and clouds. Yeah, the Cleto 120 to me is the benchmark for tasting flavors. It isn't exactly the way I vape all the time. You know what I mean? But as far as like trying to figure out what's in them and if they taste like what they taste like, this is what I go to start with. And it's also what my friends at Van Gogh use to taste their liquid. And so I like to use this too, just to be on the same page with whatever they're tasting. Like that just gives me, that just gives me a, a flavor that goes from here to here and not just in one place. I feel like the RDAs and also the B2K give me a lot of flavor in the mouth too, because they're wetter and less flavor in the top. That's why I like the single wire builds in there you get more and more of this kind of flavor as you get to the single wire builds. So it's versatile. You can put different stuff in it. The temptation is to put super big stuff in it. It's got a big deck and a lot of room in there. But like I said, for you, uh, stars and clouds, it looks like this little guy, what did I do with it? You know, like I know it's ugly, but seriously, a little tiny 14 gauge, that's just 14 right and it's tougher to trap but that vaped like um what is that seven rat yeah that vaped absolutely astonishingly deliciously in there that was i think i had it at 35 or 40 watts in the air halfway down oh man it was just delicious dave vapes is asking what kind of ohms did i get in this build this is about 0.37 about 0.37. Thank you for asking me that. I completely should have said that during the review. Absolutely. That's so important. About 0.37. I tried a bunch of stuff from 0.09 all the way to 0.66, actually. And the higher, the better, in my opinion, in this one. That's why the lower wattage, to me, that worked the best. Um, what else can I tell you about this thing? I think it's great. You guys go to jujijoneshq.com and um, leave comments and stuff there. I keep knocking little pieces of this off. This thing has got so many freaking little pieces and stuff. It is like crazy trying to keep track of it all sometimes. So remember that you are gonna be doomed to keeping track of a bunch of little tiny pieces all the time. But just remember, keep them in the ultrasonic and uh, keep them handy. I'm trying to put them back in the cases here so I don't lose them. I'm using the black one, which is amazing. The stainless steel one I love. I bought this because it has stainless steel, ultim, white, and black. Those are my four colors. The other combos have had clear, and that wasn't really my thing. But for $60, Jesus. I mean, this this kind of deal reminds me of the deal I got with the... Um... Oh, we didn't change the squonk pin. Let's do that together. This reminds me of the deal I got with the carrot RDA. It was absolutely amazing. So changing the squonk pin is a freaking cinch. It has a different size Allen key. So this is a hex, two millimeter hex, just so you know, two millimeters. And it's so easy. All you do is pop this guy off. I'm not even gonna take it off. Your build could go haywire if you do this, but mine's not. Screw it back in. 
This thing is hybrid safe, although they say they don't recommend it. I can tell you that you only need a half a millimeter to be safe with a hybrid connection, and this has one millimeter, so your clearance is fine. I haven't used it on a hybrid, but I certainly would. Um, although it's close, make sure I would use one that's safe though. Be sure you check your equipment. And look, our reading is the same, 0 0.36. 0 0.38 actually, went up a little bit there. Uh, Stars and Clouds Creative says he's been using stainless steel fu fused frame staples or aliens. Yeah, the ones I use are mainly like I use the, the thing to me is to get the wa to get the resistance up. I like triple cores. Maybe that lowers it. Actually, I'm not sure. Pretty sure. You guys tell me. For some reason, I like I like that two of these comes out to about 0.2. And one of them is about 0.4, this is about 0.38, something like that. And Brody wants to know if I, or Brady wants to know if I've used it on my Ultra. I don't know, hold on. You just reminded me that I have used it on my Ultra. What am I saying? I totally did. I did it in, I did it in Ultum. I have an Instagram shot of this. There's my Ultra. We'll take this guy off of here. Pop off the beauty ring. Grab the other beauty ring. Stick it on there. Screw it on, my hybrid. Ultra coils, Ultra RDA. And we'll steal 810 top there it is how amazing is that looks absolutely great even with the 510 or the 810 this thing looks totally great there's with the 510 amazing yeah and a 0.34 it's not a battery killer or 0.38 it's not a battery murderer. This is a cat puller when you want to drip it. I don't take the drip tip off. Yeah, thanks for reminding me, Brady. So this is so great. I hope all of you have a great day. We got to go here pretty soon. Let's vape out. Everybody say goodbye. I love all you guys. Everybody stay cool, get old, stop smoking, quit vaping. That's our motto. That's what we're doing. Stay tuned for more stuff. Saturday, I'm going to have something. Next Wednesday, something else. Happy holidays. I hope all of you are safe. Thank you so much. I love you all. You guys are awesome. Let me find my, my control so I can stop the broadcast. So I can look like a pro. You know, I'm just faking it, right, guys? There it is over there. Thank you so much.